Okay, so we are going to demonstrate a um, demo video for our project, the robot car. So here's a car. There's two video cam. One's for the um, video input output network, which is um, can be found in the screen here. The other camera is for um, the motion, um, the deep learning algorithm. So it identifies um, such as signal lights and stop sign automatically. So we have a web page. Uh, the, the control web UI that has five buttons right here. So we have forward, uh, backward, left, and right, and stop. So when we press these buttons, it will the signal will go through the network over the one to one standard, and then goes to the car uh, and makes the car move. And we have another window here that will shows the live video streaming from the car. The view side of the um, our car itself, as you see here, stop signs, parking signs, signal lights, and the speed limit is clearly shown in the screen by 5G network. So let me try with the, um, the movement of the car. Yeah. Uh, so we're first going to uh, let the car move forward. Moving forward. Okay, I'll move forward. And then uh, backward. Backward. And uh, left turn. Turn. Right. Forward. Forward. Backward. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. And turn right. So right now the OpenCV is picking up both the traffic light and the stop sign. Some of the pattern might be picked up during the uh, movement, however, because the shape is not fitting the requirement that we are looking for, so it would not resolve either traffic light or stop sign. And every single time when the OpenCV sees it, it will pick up either stop sign or traffic light. This is our RoboCar system. We have two single board computers, a Raspberry Pi on the right and a Jetson Nano on the left. The Raspberry Pi controls the car through the motor driver on the top and communicates with the server through a 5G hat underneath. The 5G communication module has five antennas on the right. The Raspberry Pi connects to a web camera for live video streaming. The Jetson Nano also has its own camera for object detection. It runs OpenCV and deep learning models to detect stop signs and traffic lights. On our web page, the results can be indicated as detected or not detected. Because of the limitation of the virtual computer resource, there's four second delay in the video. However, this um, video delay can be easily solved by um, having better computa like computational resource. Um, currently, um, we have purchased a um, very limited um, computer resource equivalent to Raspberry Pi in the, um, the previous company. However, uh, we've tested multiple situations with alternative servers. It was working perfectly fine. So this is a um, kind of small problem, but it's easily solvable. Um, the left screen, the UI and the um, control part is being um, hosted by GCP, which is Google's cloud platform. And the right the video side is hosted by OVH, a French virtual computer company. And um, so the point of this project, we just want to perform the, um, the network capability of both controlling the device and showing the multimedia like a video in a real-time situation. And I think we've done pretty much um, decent job 